But speaking of one I kind of played in your uh in your collegiate uh career, we move on to the to your pro uh career. You get drafted by Green Bay, and we all know you know what Green Bay Lambo Leap, you know, what it stands for, and uh yes. and, you know when it's what it's celebrated when you get to make a big play, but I didn't even know this. Yeah, Pat, you didn't know this, huh? I did not know this. Lambo <laughs> Leap was inspired and pretty much created by you. So how do you feel when you yes. see someone do that every single time they score in, Lam- on, uh, in Lambeau Stadium? Uh, that's a great question because it does make me feel a type of way because it, it shows the love of the fans. Mm-hmm. And it's not something individual. It's just uh, without the fans, you can't do it. So yeah. I think the fans love it too. Now you can interact with the fans and, you know, because without our fans, we're nobody. And I yeah. just appreciated that because we were playing the Raiders and it was like 11 below with the win. And I was like, why are these people? We were up like 21 or nothing, I think. Uh-huh. It's just, no one has gone home. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1993. It's I only been in the league like three years. And I'm like, no one has gone home. And I remember uh, Mike Holmgren telling Reggie, or well, he told the defense, if you get an interception or a fumble, do not lateral it because uh, y'all gonna mess it up. But yeah, right. yeah. Reggie, yeah. I said Reggie finna lateral this ball. I caused a fumble. I run over there. He lateral me the ball. Run down the sideline and man, I'm a defensive back. I don't get many touchdowns. You know, yeah. I'm one as fast as y'all. <laughs> and I ran up there. I dropped that ball. I, I jumped up there. I said I'm gonna jump in the stands and the fans. I, I I think it caught them by surprise. They didn't know what I was doing. Like yeah. why isn't he stopping? I mean, because uh, normally. As soon as you break the, you know, break the, the goal line, you just turn around and do something. But I right. kept running, jumped up there. So was it something that just happened? It was, it was like, spontaneous. Like, it just popped yeah. in my head. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, that's dope. Man, the Lambo and, Leap. And, and think it, about it, this, Leroy. You were elite, man. No question. And think <laughs> about this, Leroy. You will forever <laughs> go Lee. down as one of the greats because that's something that we see every home game yes. yeah. from a Packer player. And we've seen some visiting players try to jump in and do the Lambo leap as well. Yes. And, and, yes. and because of your creativity being spontaneous, as you see behind Leroy, if you're watching us on YouTube, he has the leap vodka. Yeah. So because of your creativity, <laughs> you've been able to branch off <laughs> and not just create the Lambo leap, but you also have a leap vodka. Tell us a little bit about the alcohol. Well, I got a uh, call from Chad Greenway, as you guys know. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, he works with Grey Duck, and I remember him said, Leroy, um, we we got a venture for you. I, I get a lot of calls like that, but I'm like, but by him him being a former player mm-hmm. and passing the plug, I get that gets through the red tape. So he's already in, in the Butler bubble. So I'm listening to him, and he presented it very well. But I say, Chad, I'll be honest with you, if I can name it and be part ownership, I don't want to be an ambassador. Yeah. But if right. I can be part ownership, get back to me. Mm-hmm. A couple of weeks later, he said, Leroy, your wish is my command. We're going to give you part ownership and you can name it. What do you want to name it? Leap. <laughs> I got two nephews. That's, that's what they call me, Uncle Leap. They don't even call me Uncle Leroy, Uncle Leap. Yeah. And once that took off right in the pandemic, it, it, it's doing very well. It's a slow grinding thing. But when you're in the, the alcohol, this is I modestly say, because I don't even drink. Mm. And I've never drank, never smoked. But I remember, guys, going into the stadium, I said, why are these people tailgating? I don't get it. Mm-hmm. Because you can get food and drinks in the stadium. Right. So I used to go to games. I'm like, I, I just don't understand why they won't just go inside. So I never marketed it to those people. I was always doing stuff with families or good mm-hmm. stuff. I said, right. man, I mean, I want to do something, you know, market to the people that come in to see the game. And this was perfect. Yeah. So it were it really worked out amazing. Awesome, Lamb, the Leap Vodka. So, hey, man, y'all go support Leroy and Leap Vodka. Uh, where can I get it? Oh, LeapSpirits.com. 
in Wisconsin only for, I think, the next 90 days, then we'll be everywhere. And uh, if you go to any local pickandsave.com or if you go to leapspirits.com, you can find out if you're in Wisconsin, mm-hmm. wherever, they'll let you know where you can find it. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Well, make sure you support. Well, we know, you, like you said, Wisconsin, they were supporting you, so you already got nice, a nice oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. plug of <laughs> yeah. consumers already. Yeah. yeah. 